friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living, and it's a snowstorm. Oh, let me get this leash. Just a second. Don't want to take it off in the snow. Okay, you ready? Oh, I need a poop bag. Just a minute. Got one. It's a snowstorm today. Hiya! you son of a what do you think Violet oh it's a snowstorm it's gonna be a good one <laughs> she loves it Woo! <laughs> I have you on a leash be careful I don't want to strangle you anyways yeah snowstorm warning and it's coming down it's those little tiny things but it's constant it's constant let me flip your flip you around I'm going to take my glove off. Just a minute. There. There. Yeah, it's snowy. I should put my hood up. It's not super duper cold. Like, it's cold. Don't get me wrong. It's like minus five right now. But it's not. It's the high of minus two. What? Did you hurt yourself? Uh, high of minus two, low of minus eight or something. But, yeah, nobody should be driving anywhere today. Unless they really, really have to. Right, Violet? Oh, I should shut that compost on my way back. I like to leave it open these days in case any critters need food, but it's just going to fill with snow and they wouldn't be able to get it anyway, so I'll just shut it and then when the snow storm's over, I'll open it again. Right, Violet? Oh, look, nobody's been walking. Or nobody we can see. Somebody did drive on here a little while ago. But, yeah, it's supposed to go like this all day till tomorrow morning constant but we got water in the tub Violet, don't stop right up we got water in the tub we got food we got fire we'll be fine fine I says so anyways I'm just gonna wait for her to take care of her other part of her business and then we'll head back I'm not gonna go too far Mazaya and Misha and Mally are up oh Randall there you are good morning wherever he is I don't know where he is, but I just heard him. So anyways, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Oh, he's calling to us, Violet. All right, friends, I got the fire togged up. I emptied the dishwasher, started to load it back up. There's not enough dishes. Dr uh, like, open the blinds. Maze is out here listening to wrestling, eating some cinnamon toast. But, yeah, not too bad, just some wrestling toys. Say good morning, Maze. Say good morning. <laughs> Two slices of cinnamon toast. Oh, look at it out, Violet. Just look at it. Ah, oh, there's his championship belt. He just loves his wrestling. That's how my father and his family all used to say it. Wrestling. Instead of wrestling. I like it, wrestling. Yeah. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's a constant, constant fog of little teeny tiny snowflakes or snow mist is what it is but yeah it's the dangerous stuff it is if this keeps going like this all day like it will accumulate and it'll be it'll be nasty out but yeah i'm forbidding anybody from leaving this house today all right, I had my coffee. Gosh, look at it out there. Jeez. Yeah, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. But it's nasty out there. Anyways, I think I might do breakfast for supper. I do have chicken nuggets and french fries in the freezer. I could do that, but I just I want something to cook early. So in case the power goes out, I don't know. But this is half a pack of those Costco... 
breakfast sausages, you know, those big packs. Um, this is just an old bag that I had. Had chicken raw pepper pie, tater tot casserole in it at one point, but I'm just wondering how I can defrost these. I don't think it fits in my microwave. But I could do bacon and eggs and hash browns. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do that tomorrow so I can let this sit out and do chicken nuggets and french fries for supper. Yeah, that might be what I have to do. I don't know. We'll see. I was on the horn. Um, I peeled potatoes, so I'm doing not any of that. I am going to make meatloaf potatoes. I have another bag of carrots, I think. I should peel that up. That way I can get the meatloaf done. It's 10.30 now. Hopefully get the meatloaf done by lunchtime so I don't have to worry about it. Get that those dishes washed. And if the power goes out, I don't want it to go out, but if it does... I can always boil the vegetables on the wood stove. I could do a meatloaf on the wood stove, but it would just be harder. But yeah, so I took out two packages of 50% off hamburger over here. There's another one. There, I took out a banana bread that I made back in October or something. I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and they'll be able to have that for breakfast and things like that in the next couple of days. And yeah, so that one pack of hamburger is in the microwave now defrosting. I was thinking I'd do, oh, sweet and sour meatballs and rice and egg rolls. I can easily do that. No big deal. But then I find when you defrost hamburger, I'm hoping it still works for, uh, I hope, yeah, I'm going to fix my tripod. I hope it still works for meatloaf. Um, you know how it partially cooks a little bit, but I am going to stick it in a bread pan and stick it in the oven. Whereas meatballs sometimes, if it's partially cooked and try to make it into a meatball, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work proper. So I used up the rest of that bag of potatoes. Um, I'll use that other bag of carrots because the, if you see my video yesterday, there was two little plates of roast beef dinner left over. We had roast beef dinner yesterday. Those are gone. And yeah, we have potatoes, carrots, corn, roast beef, gravy, mustard pickles. It's all gone. It's all gone. So if I have that other carrots, uh, I shouldn't have took my gloves off. I'll do that up. And um, while well, that stuff is defrosting, let me go see. Yep. I got it. What a three pound, three pound bag of carrots. I'm gonna do them all up. Let me get a pot. Where's she? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, get her dog toy away from the table there, Bob. No, get that off of your face, Maze. That's gross. That's, the, that's that dog toy she bought. Um, bought. He bought. bought. He bought. He bought. He bought. He bought. She bought. Uh, from the dollar store the other day. What is she? Is she out here? Is she or is she out there? Or is she upstairs? Uh, she might have went back to bed. 
This isn't the carrot peeler I usually like, but it was the easiest one. This one was Medea's, actually. It's a KitchenAid one. Works good. So, we'll do this. And I'll set it. God. It's snowing so much. Or I know there's some critters that like to eat this stuff, but it's snowing so much. I'll put it in the compost, and just when the storm stops tomorrow, I'll open it up, and then they can have at it if they want to. Well, I should... Do this. Three minutes and 13 seconds for that. I don't know whether it'll be done or not, but we'll see. uses up our spuds, our carrots. That's good. And easy enough to cook on the wood stove if need be. God, I hope the power doesn't go out. I hate. I, it's fun when the power goes out. If it's temporary and you don't, you know, like the kids have a blast. I get it. But just as the caretaker, not so much because it just makes things that's much more harder. Harder to wash hands, harder to do this and that. Oh, these are monster of carrots. And I mean, summer would be better too because you be outside. You can't really be outside in a snowstorm. You can, but not for any length of time. You could go have a campfire, but not in a snowstorm. Some would argue that, but I'm not having a campfire in a snowstorm. So, we'll do this. This will be good. Yeah, it's January 29th. Jeez, this month. I know I had said in a video not too long ago, February is going to be my new start. Instead of January 1st, I want February to be it because it's just like December and January all just rolled into one. And with the holiday season and a house full of people and the circus of a government and the circus of my family and Medea and Evie and Cody were still here for the first part of January and just like everything. I just didn't have any time to feel like it was a new start. So I'm hoping February will be it. No, I'm not hoping. It's going to be. It's going to be. It's all about words. It's all about a mind switch. And yeah. Gotta make it work. Gotta make it work. I was talking to my sister-in-law on the phone when I was doing those potatoes. She's lucky. She has a wood stove too. So, just in case things go awry, she'll be alright. Yeah, Dad, he has a furnace, but I asked him yesterday. He's like, well, you get a little heat if the power goes out. Like, there's no fan to blow the heat. But he's he's well equipped. Okay, microwave. It'll still keep beeping if I don't give it its attention. I'm going to put that other pack in right now. I'll just use my knuckles. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try that and see. I'm going to make it work. I'll squish it all in a bread pan and with spices and egg and spinach. I want to put some spinach in it. We'll make it work. If Mally was up, she likes to make meatloaf too. She was up earlier, but. I mean, I, I 
funny listening to them out there. Maze is out there watching wrestling stuff still. Oh. Oh, it's my husband. Well, I'll just fast pace this because I'm going to end up chopping these all up in little coins and I'll meet you back, Jack. There's the carrots and spuds. I'm not cooking them now. I just set them there. But what I am going to do is saute some onions or mixed vegetables, actually. I think I still have some of those. And do I have any bacon grease? I do. Ooh, I do. I still have a little bit of this bag of frozen diced vegetables. I'm just going to saute it a little bit. Onions, celery, carrots, and peppers. Doing them all. Bacon grease. Keep in my fridge. I just kind of want to soften them up so when I add them to the hamburger it'll be good so I didn't need that much grease but that's all right I'm gonna put it all right in I'm putting it all in but yeah I'll wait till that melts down a little bit this won't take very long a few minutes and I'll put some egg in there some parmesan cheese some spices some ketchup and mustard. I do have some chicken rib sauce I could throw up in there. I don't know. It'll just be a smorgasbord made with love. All packed into a bread pan and baked. That sounds pretty good on a snowy day with whipped creamy potatoes and sweet sugary carrots. And yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Alright, put that in. That gets rid of that. I'm just going to do something super simple for lunch, like one of those microwavable pizza things or something. I'm not too worried about lunch. I should. Well, I'll wait a minute. When that microwave stops, I'll start preheating the oven to like 350 won't take long to just throw that hamburger together in a bowl. I saved my gloves for my carrots. And we'll just mix it up. After that's done though, I do want to get the... I bought some frozen chopped spinach the other day. I bought two packs. I'll just do one. But to heat it up in the microwave, like to defrost it and drain it and squeeze the liquid out of it. And that'll go in too. So... Each bite will pack a punch of some nutrition, but then some not so much, but whatever. The sugary, savory sauce and stuff is probably not the best for you, but anyways, I'm just going to let those, I'll move them around a bit till they get kind of translucent a little bit, 
wait till that's done. I'm going to dig out whatever spices I'm going to use. I might use some stoves. My husband was using that last night on a steak. Beef rub. I might throw a bit of that up in there. And of course some garlic, pepper, and herbs. Might throw some Tony's up in there. There's some over there. Yeah, I'll keep it simple. I got some mushroom powder. I'll throw that in there. My own dehydrated mushroom powder. Garlic, onion powder. Yeah, that'll, that'll do, Pig. That'll do. I'll be back. Okay, those are done. The hamburger's done. This is the spinach I got. I got they were two for four dollars, I think. Chopped spinach. And the directions are: place half a package of frozen spinach in a microwave-safe dish. Cook on high for two and a half, three minutes. Break up spinach halfway through cooking time. Drain well. Press to extract liquid. To season to taste. I'm doing the whole package for seven minutes, and I'll bloody well strain it when I'm ready to do it and press out the rest. So I'll be back. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. It's been some time. My husband was in the kitchen having his coffee and stuff, so. Misha's just making herself some Mr. Noodles. I gave the kids pizza bites for lunch. It's 12.03, so I didn't get this in the oven by, by lunchtime, but that's okay. We're done by lunchtime, for that matter. Um, but I do have the oven preheated. I got out two bread pans. They're not my big ones. They're like a little bit smaller. They're bread pans, but I have like big bread pans. I have two here, so I'm gonna make it work. And yeah, I'm gonna try not to get one of my hands bloody right away. Bloody, gross. And I did the spinach. Um, it's just in here because I pressed it with the back of a spoon to strain it. I'm going to layer the seasonings. Oh, oh well. More than half went there. This is beef rub. It's going to be a smorgasbord, guys. Garlic powder. Onion powder. When you put it down, like... a puff. Yeah. Yeah. That um, garlic what peppers and herbs. What is she doing? Nothing. Oh, I need some Tonys. Oh, if I can do it, I'm gonna have a quick shower. Oh, this one hasn't been opened. Why is that one out? That wind is just blowing out there. Holy cow. I'll have a shower downstairs because the upstairs bathroom. That's usually where I like to shower, but um, the tub's full of water, so. Yeah, this is Tony's. What else am I missing? Some mushroom. <sighs> mushroom powder. From my own mushrooms I dehydrated. I would like to try to have a shower, I should say. And then half of this. This is the vegetables I sauteed up. I have three eggs in here. I'll do two in the middle. What else do I got? Well, I got some mustard. I have a half a can of tomato sauce, usually I put ketchup, but I, I might use the rest of it for the topping. I'll mix it with stuff. I have ketchup there, but I won't add that right now. All right. Okay. Yes, you can if you can get it. Oh, good. What's that? Banana bread. Do you like banana bread? 
just about to get the dishwasher done or going now. So it'll be done before supper's even a thing. What? Oh, oh. What? What is this? I think that's from Kara's house. Because that's not one of our bowls. What would it be? We used to have things like that years ago. I don't think you were even a twinkle, but. Oh yeah, I had some chicken and rib sauce. Oh yeah, Misha. That looks gross. Looks gross. Yes. That's what you're eating for supper there. I'm eating that. Yes. That like compost. It's not compost. Never said it was called. What do you think, Some more of those. How long ago did you have stuff like this? I don't know. Years ago. Like when I lived in Halifax, probably. So 20 years ago? 20 years ago sounds about right. Some more Tonys. Some more beef rub. I think that's everything. That's what it's going to do. That's all I'm doing. I did spray these with nonstick spray. I mean, these are supposed to be nonstick, but I just can't help myself. All right. I can still feel a little bit of a frozen spot in here. Yeah. Well, I defrosted this hamburger this morning. It's not like frozen, but it's just a little stiffer than the rest of it. So, once I get this in the oven and the kids are done their lunch, no, I'll have a quick five second, no, five minute shower. The kids will finish their lunch when I'm out of the shower and get the dishwasher going. And hopefully everything holds up. Hopefully. What I do, I don't, you don't have to do this. Like I do it in a bread pan, then I take it out when it's pretty well cooked or at least sticks together and I put it on a drying rack on a cookie sheet and finish cooking it so it gets like, almost like a little, like it's brown all the way around no like loose bits it's it's almost not like a shell like it's dried out but it just gets browned all over I don't know it makes it more like a look like a loaf but you can make a meatloaf in the shape of a football it really doesn't matter so I'm just mixing this all up I'm hoping that these pans they should fit like they should I don't see why they wouldn't. Man, my dishwasher's just there. Waiting for it. And you know this hamburger will shrink. I forget what kind of hamburger this is. Is this medium or what? Lean ground. So there will be some fat. I'll probably have a cookie sheet. Well, I have one of those oven liners there, just in case. Yeah, I'll probably put a cookie, this on a cookie sheet too, just, just to be safe. I don't need a smoking oven. Like, I have smoking burners. That's for sure. Oh, I'll just put a lot of love into it. A nice hearty. Nice hearty uh, supper. I forget. I don't think I uh, cover this. I don't know. I forget. I gotta look it up. My mind's foggy these days. But I'm 
will say. There. <clears throat> so even if it does shrink down, it should shrink down to the, hopefully to the top of the bread pan. That looks wonderful. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, I'll be right back so I can get you off and you can see a better picture of it. I'm just slowly putting stuff away. I'm going to have to wipe the table off for sure. But there's the meatloafs. I put a little glaze on it and then I'll worry about a good glaze after when we get it out of the pans and put it on a cookie sheet. You know what I mean? But I'll put a little bit of, I'll probably just put some of that on. Chicken and rib. Because that's kind of sweet. And yeah, I'll get it in the oven for, I don't know, an hour and we'll see. All right, guys, it's around 1 o'clock. I had a shower. The dishwasher's going. I'm all shiny because I put cream on my face, well, on my whole body, to be honest. Um, I'm waiting for the dishwasher to be done. Then I'll turn the washing machine on, as long as we can still do it. There's a half hour left for that meatloaf before I check it. But i got to turn you around. you got to see this. <sighs> yeah, it is windy outside. But you see down there where the swings are? I mean, there's different... There's deeper spots, but like the snow is right up to the thing. And yeah, I can hear the whistling of our chimney. The tree doesn't look like it's moving there, but it is, it is windy. It is windy. So I hope that if there's any uh, critters out there, they've hunkered down somewhere to stay nice and warm. Well, as much as possible. All right, I'll just open this door for a second so you can see it more live action. Look. Yeah, I'll stick you guys out. Listen to that wind. Oh, you can feel the power. You can feel the energy. I'm loving it, as long as the power stays on. But yeah, it's nasty outside. All right, I was just upstairs. Is that the phone? I was just upstairs unloading my phone and starting to edit. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm so good that I put that um, cookie sheet underneath because it's dripped all over. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Look at it. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to fall apart if I take it out. That's been in for one hour and ten minutes. edges so when I flip it out it doesn't stick and I'm just gonna make up under pistol it should be in there longer I don't know I don't know violet stop yelling at me stuff down in the on the pan so I might as well just do that Ooh, baby I need to uh, get a pant think violet huh I'm going to do this and this, but what I'm going to do is put tin foil on that, so I'll be right back. All right, we've got to see. I tried to put the tin foil up so it's up, so it kind of catches it. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to. Oh, 
turn out, but we're gonna try our darndest. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Let me do this. I'm just putting this here for now because I need to dump off that fat. I'm going to try something. I'm just going to try something. Dump this into the compost over there. Just look at it. What do you think of them? Apples. Huh? This is driving me insane. I don't care that there's bloody juice down under there. It's caught in on the pan. No biggie. This. That's just going to ensure that my burner smokes. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do, Violet? All right. Now I need to make up some sort of sauce to go on it. I'm gonna use that chicken rib sauce, a little brown sugar and mustard. That should do it. Do I have brown sugar? I know I do, but I don't wanna open a new one. Well, here's one that's kind of hard as a raw. What do you think of that? I won't put too much brown sugar in it. Let's see if I can break it with the back of a spoon. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I can do the violet. All right, so sometimes I make it with ketchup and mustard and whatever. Doesn't really matter. I still have the oven at 350. bowl she was talking. I used to have a few different dishes with the smile and a little face on it years ago, years ago. Oh, it's right here watching me. You're hoping I drop one of those meatloaves, aren't you? Fat chance. Dad a call. See how he's faring. He was having scallops for supper last night. I know some of you guys call them scallops. We call them scallops. And 
Digby is, I believe, the scallop capital of the world. FYI, that's what we're known for, or, well, not right in the town. It's where I was born and raised. So, I'm going to stick this back in. Probably another 45, see how it is. And if the sauce is all dried up, I'll just make some more. But this way, when I take it out, I'm just brushing it lightly because I don't want this to crumble. It gets all over, and I like it when it's kind of tacky. Not saucy, but tacky. So. The dishwasher is done. Um, I will be sure to empty that and load it back up. Like have it ready for after supper. So far so good with the power. <laughs> oh good. Good Violet. It's good. And even that juice that's down there in the pan will just help it not dry out. We'll just kind of evaporate in the oven maybe. I like to think so. Maybe I'm completely full of it. Violet. Am I blowing smoke up your backside? Alright, so it's not the traditional meatloaf, but it'll do. It'll do. Good enough. Good enough. I can touch this pan because it's not hot, but there. So we'll be able to slice it up just like bread. Bread and butter. Oh, on my back. There. Now I'll put it on for, well, I'll put it on for half hour and then I'll check it. I'll go back upstairs and try to edit. And, um, yeah, I'll be back. All right, I have about 20 more minutes for the meatloafs in the oven to check them. I emptied the dishwasher, started loading it back up, but not enough to start. So I'm just going to sit and take a little rest. I didn't turn the washing machine on just because it's not quite a full load. I'll wait till later on and turn it on if I can. So, yeah, everybody's upstairs. It's just me and Violet down here. I don't know. And... I'm not going to go investigate. Uh, they want to be upstairs. It's all good to me. It's nice and quiet down here, Violet. The telly's not even on, so I'm just going to relax. All right, I just took these out of the oven. Don't they look good? I think. I think they do. They almost don't even need more sauce, but I might put some on and shut the oven off and just let it sit in there for a while. Not totally sauce it up. But just use the rest of that with a squirt of um, maybe a little bit of mustard. Yeah, looks good. Messiah just took Violet out for a pee. Did she pee? Yeah. Oh, good. It didn't even look like she was having pee though. No. Like look at this icicle. Misha knocked it down for Zaya. Jeepers creepers. That's a big one. You gotta make sure you put it back outside though. What's it like out, Zaya? Nice and warm? Well, there's. I you know, last time. Just a minute, just a minute. Yeah. And it was hard to walk around. Yeah. Violet couldn't even go around like anywhere to have a pee, really. Like, no. She just peed right, like, right outside the door. Now well, she's getting her treat. Yeah, well, go snap that in half or something. Guys, want one, please? Someone? Yeah. Uh, We'll go break it out there. All right, friends. It's like five to four, so I got the potatoes going. The carrots are done. I'm going to strain those in a bit, but I meant to do this yesterday. I have two cans of asparagus. I've never used asparagus out of a can before. So I'm going to open them, strain them, 
put them in a pan with bacon grease and heat them up that way? That sounds about right. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I've had these before. I can't recall, to be honest. I got these initially for our New Year's Eve supper to incorporate it in our, like, Asian Chinese food buffet, Canadian rural Nova Scotian bumpkin celebration, but forgot about it. So now you can't see, but they're all standing upright. I'm just gonna strain them, and we'll see. In just a minute. All right, guys, the potatoes got done too. Um, I just checked them. I put a good dose, almost half a cup of butter in there because there was a lot. Almost a half a cup of butter in those carrots too put a lid on after I'll season them up and whip them up and mash them up and whatever. My husband just went outside to start the snow blower. The storm's certainly not over, but it's slowed down a little bit so he can get a jump on maybe plowing, snow blowing part of it so it won't be such a big endeavor tomorrow. So, um, yeah. I wish I had a had cooked bacon, but that's all right. This is some more of that bacon fat I talked about earlier. Put that back in the fridge. Oh! Well, I had a good yarn with my mother-in-law earlier. She called. They still got power and stuff, so that's good. Um, I had the. Asparagus there. I think it's all cooked. Like it's cooked. Yeah, and yeah. I think this I'll just warm it up. I suppose I gotta be careful because I'm gonna wait till that's good and melted. So it almost sizzles. It would almost mush if I moved them around too much in the pan, I think. I'll just warm them up. I'll get out my squishers, mashers. I like that potato masher. And Bob or Betty. Oh, let me see. No, that's Betty. Um, for the carrots. That's starting to sizzle. So. Sizzle, sizzle. Should have got a bigger frying pan. I'll turn this down a little bit now. I'll just let them sit there a minute. Ooh, that's hot. It's hot. Now, when I did the potatoes, I put water in the potatoes as they boil, or salt in the water as they boil, but I still might put a little more in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't remove them too much because I really think that they'll fall apart. potatoes are looking good. They're all hovering around asking if stuff was ready yet. I said no. Bear with me. Bear with me. Get some salt. It doesn't come out very good. Ooh, there's not much pepper in there. We have another pepper thing. Oh, don't tell me we don't have any friggin' pepper. Well, peppercorns, that's not gonna do any good right now. I don't know where my, no, no salt. Well, son of a gun. Guess that'll have to do. Carefully, I don't want to scratch my pan either. I'm gonna get 
milk. I should put my hair up. Do that. I just do this. That takes me off. No freaking black pepper. Suffer without pepper for heaven's sake. All of my watch thinks I'm jogging, but I'm not. It's a big pot. So. Just get going, Misha. And I like to break it up. I know when I used to go to my husband's grandmother's, she's an angel now, but she would do it with a tin can. Like it was a wash tin can, but it was her masher, like to break up carrots. And oh, it's the best thing. Work like a charm. like to break it up. I mean, I wouldn't have to, but I just like to do it that way. I don't whip them up like potatoes, but just, and they're not all broken. These are kind of salty anyway, so I don't want to put any salt on them. What can I put on them? I don't know what goes on asparagus. I'll try to reframe myself. I'll just put some garlic pepper in herbs, I guess. That seems like a safe call. That seems safe. Yeah, I hear the snowblower out there working now. What were you doing up there? Maze is on the roller skates. Oh, nice. Trying to break up the bigger chunks. All these dishes washed and sit back and relax. And go to sleep. Go to sleep? Well, I'd like to. I'm going to shut those off. That's good. That's good enough for me. Why can I go to bed? You can go to bed right now, Misha, if you want to. When can I go to bed, she says. Amazing. Um, is there anything for Sarita that's 
I don't think she can have that. This is, there's like sugar and stuff on this. I will message her after and see how she's making out. She just asked about Saritha. So. Because I need to go there. I know you want to go there, Misha, but. And she said I can have a sleepover. You're not having a sleepover at Saritha's now. Anyways, yeah, I'll get you off so I can get a good couple of pictures. All right. So there's the pepperless potatoes and the pepperless carrots. And pepperless asparagus and the meatloaf. I was going to put it on a platter, but I just don't want to dirty more dishes. So I'm just going to try to cut it up on this. But I wanted to show you before I do. Yeah, like a proper meatloaf, I think. All right, this burner is hot, so <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what can I cut this with? Or, what are you doing with? I want all the carrots up now. Yeah, I know you want the carrots, Misha. Well, you can do ribs. I'll do ribs when they don't cost fifty dollars a package. $50 package. Yeah, they're expensive these days. Believe me, I'd like to do some ribs sometime. And you need to do a lot because they're going to be gone in a few days. Yeah. I'm just going to cut this one up right now so I can, can I get the kids. No? Well, you can't drink it now, drink it after. One for now, to see, and then you can come back for another one. I will. And I need the experiment. With the milk for the potatoes. Okay, Mace. What is the milk for? What? What's the milk for? I put milk in the potatoes. I just said that before. Okay, you do want to talk to these guys. Ears, go. Okay. Oh, I need the potato scoop. Okay. And that. Okay. Do. No, Mays, Mays, go on out with the roller skates, please. you can have right now. Is there onions? Is it that? Not very many. I can see a bunch. I don't want any. Oh, careful. Do you want any carrots? Potatoes. Meatloaf. Asparagus. All right. Skedaddle then. Beef? Beef is meatloaf. 
It's hamburger. No, I'm not having supper. Okay. We don't have supper then. Cheese. Well, it looked good when it was together, so. too much for Messiah, so I'll do this one up for Marquise or somebody. One of those, the older ones. Carrots. And asparagus. Messiah, if you watched any length of time, you know she's not the biggest meat eater. She likes it, she just doesn't like it as much as some of the others. Now she might surprise me, someday she does, she comes back and wants more, so she can have more if she wants more. i do her plate, she loves the potatoes. Carrots and asparagus. That one's Mazayas. I'm gonna go holler for the, or no, I'll do up. Who do I have left to do? Yeah, oh. oh, there's Marquise there. There's a plate for you or Kara. Oh, asparagus? Asparagus. Is asparagus? This is Kara. What's Kara doing? You'll want to play it up to her. Yeah. Oh, good. It's kind of falling apart, but it did look like that. Good. Um, I can't find any pepper, so. What? I know. Okay, do we have salt? Yeah. Do we have butter? Yeah, over there on the counter, beside the onions. Mmm, is there There is, but I, I need to, uh, what? Don't. I have plates to do. Okay. You don't get asparagus often. No. These ones were just, uh, from the dollar store. Mm. Like, usually sure. if we have asparagus, we have... I don't know if I trust the uh, yeah. fresh stuff. I'll oh. show you a picture of one of these plates that look more fancy. Just a minute. All right, so there. And Marquise took that other plate, so there's his. Just put some more wood in the fire. Huh? Yeah? Uh, got the dishwasher going. Misha's coming back for a second round of carrots. That I can't have any more. I said you can't have any more because other people might want some. This is what's left from supper. There's no spuds left. There's a little bit of uh, carrots left and I was going to say sloppy joe. Meatloaf. So I'm just going to wrap this up and uh, put it in the fridge and then we'll finish cleaning up but the dishwasher is going i couldn't fit all the dishes in there yet i still haven't made a trip to the compost but we will we will but yeah good 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 Woo, baby feel mother nature wow i just came out to the compost i don't know if you can see i had to step through the snow and retrace my steps so snow doesn't get all into my boots my husband did snow blow but he forgot to do a path to the compost but yeah it goes up over my boots that's for sure 
The plow hasn't been by on the road yet. Somebody's been driving on it though. But yeah, we're not like a priority road. And it's not snowing now, but we are supposed to get more snow tonight. It's windy and it's friggin' cold. Look, Saritha and Flora and Larry's driveway is all... They get somebody to come and plow it, though, so that's good. And at least my husband did this part, so tomorrow, if he has to do it, it's not going to be so much. But, yeah. Ooh, it's cold. It's cold. So, I brought the compost out. I shut it again, though, just because if it's going to snow, that way, when the storm is over, I'll open it. And anybody that wants the carrot peelings and stuff, they can have at her. So, ooh, ooh, my fingers. But, yeah, it didn't even go all the way up to the shop yet, though. Yeah, my, my. Oh, I do love a good storm, though. I do. Oh, Misha's over there cleaning the stove top for me getting it good I'm gonna have one of these and go up and try to edit the rest of this video so I'll check you back in a bit I scared the bejesus out of Mazaya though as I was coming in the door she was going out to get one of these and she almost turned inside out her eyes popped out of her head it was hilarious <clears throat> all right friends so this is kind of foggy Violet. All right, my battery's almost dead, so I gotta end this now. I have this video edited up until now. It's almost 6.30. We had a good day. Everybody had full bellies and everything like that. So, yeah, we'll see what the storm brings tonight, but I want to get this edited and uploaded early because you just never know what's going to take place. So thanks for joining me and hanging out with me and making supper with me and listening to me yammer on and all that jazz. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. Yeah, there she is. All right, guys. Well, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.